Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is fifth video of our CCIE learning track. And before starting this video, I would like to mention here that I am preparing for my CCIE and I am creating these videos for all the people who uh, want to start their career in Cisco or uh, who wants to take CCIE exam. Uh, since I'm also learning, so if you find something which is missing from my videos, you can always mention that thing in the comment section and I would be happy to create video for that. Okay, so now let's start with, uh, if you remember in our last video we talked about VLANs and we covered, we created VLANs for sales in Linux 1 and Linux 2. And today we are going to create a trunk between these two switches and then uh, we will create uh, Linux 3 also part of our sales domain. Anyway, so let's start our slides. So what is trunking? Basically trunking helps connecting switches with each other with a single port. Okay, so we will use only one port on either switches and we will connect those two switches together and we can spread a single VLAN same way on multiple switches with the help of trunk. In short, trunk link is a link which carries multiple VLAN traffic on a single link and it can differentiate the traffic based on tags or frame tags. So basically what happens when you connect two switches uh, together, for example, here, when we create or set up this link as a trunk link, traffic which will goes from here, if it's, uh, uh, let's say we have the sales, uh, we have to create sales here, so let's create it. It has to be same VLAN. Okay, so now let's say now traffic wants to go from this switch to this switch and what will happen, it will tag the packet. It will tag the frame. The frame will go here. Up till here, it's not going to be tagged. But when it comes to the switch, it will check the frame and when it will see that it's part of some VLAN, it will, because there's an ID uh, in the frame, so in the tag, so what will happen, it will tag this packet. When it will see that it's coming from a VLAN and, and it's destined to some specific VLAN, it's going to tag the packet. The tag will go from here on the trunk. When it will reach this switch, the switch will check the packet, check the tag where it's destined to, remove the tag and send it to the specific computer. So basically, tag is not going to tra uh, travel here not here, but it's going to drag, uh, travel between these two switches, like each zero to each zero. Okay, so the untagged packet, if the packets are not tagged, they are part of native VLAN. They are assumed to be part of native VLAN and that we will uh, see after some time, what is native VLAN and how to configure it. Anyway, so, so let's check if we can ping right now Linux 3 server. Since it's not part of VLAN uh, sales, it's not going to happen. But let's finish our slides first. So in short, trunk link is a link which carries multiple VLAN traffic on a single link and it differentiates the traffic based on tags or frame. For example, VLAN 100 can spread from switch 1 and switch 10 or whatever the switch is, irrespective of their location, provided they can be connected somehow. If the switches are connected somehow, VLAN 100 can be spread from switch 1 to switch 20, 30, whatever you like, as far as they are part of the same VLAN. Okay, VLAN tagging. Tagging only happens in trunk links. The idea is that users connected with different switches, but part of the same VLAN can communicate with each other. So the idea is users, it doesn't matter with what switches they are connected with, uh, but if they are part of the same VLAN, communication can occur. So example, computer A, VLAN sales connected with switch uh, A sends frame or packets 
to computer B, wheel and sales connected with switch B. So this is the scenario like computer A, switch A, switch B and computer B. Switch A receives the frame and adds a tag to this frame. It contains VLAN ID. This frame contains the VLAN ID, uh, the tag, sorry. Uh, switch B receives the frame, looks it up, removes it and send it to the particular computer. In our case, it's computer B. So a tagged frame contains VLAN information and untagged packet does not. Protocol which will be used for trunking is 802.1Q and size it adds is 4 byte for tag. So for lab, uh, we are going to set up our trunk. So to do that, first thing, let me create VLAN here as well on switch 2. And show IP interface brief. Show VLAN brief. Okay, it this is switch, uh, not switch to. Yeah, here is switch to. Show VLAN brief, and we don't have any VLAN, so I'm going to VLAN. Create VLAN 100, name is sales, control Z, show VLAN brief, okay, and right now it is part of ETH 0 slash 1, conf t interface ETH 0 slash 1. Switch port mode is access since it's an endpoint device and switch port uh, access VLAN is 100. No shot. Show VLAN brief. Okay, now we can see that ETH 0 slash 1 is part of, uh, sales is part of this VLAN. Or uh, ETH 0 slash 1 is part of VLAN 100. Okay, show interface brief show IP interface brief okay good now what I'm going to do is this is ETH 0 slash 0 0 slash 0 and we need to set up them as trunk uh, let's uh, save the configuration first I have to do this because restart because it's uh, EVNG community edition has this issue okay first thing is now we need to uh, set up the trunk so it's very simple we will go into that uh, ether zero and issue a few commands like switch port mode trunk switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and that's it so we will go to conf t interface the zero slash zero it's going to switch port mode trunk okay now here it's saying that an interface with trunk encapsulation is auto cannot be configured to trunk okay no problem so we can say mm, switch port mode okay switch port let's say switch port encapsulation dot one q let's try this time switch port mode trunk yep so encapsulation was the issue so i have so same thing on switch two yep 
interface uh, ethernet 0 slash 0 switchboard mode ah sorry switchboard trunk in caps not one q switchboard mode trunk no shut Right mem okay few commands show interface trunk and we can see that it's trunking and the native VLAN is one and the port is eth0 slash two perfect encapsulation a to two uh, one dot q over here uh, as well show interface trunk okay perfect Okay, now um, for specific um, interface, you can also use show interface trunk. And no, this is not the command. Sorry, that's a mistake. Show interface. This is an excellent command. Ethernet 0 slash 0 switch port. It will tell you each and everything about what is the mode. It's a trunk encapsulation. It's really good for troubleshooting as well. Okay, switch port is enabled, you can see. Uh, so that's it. And let's try to ping our Linux one to Linux three. Earlier, if you remember, it was not able to ping, but can it ping now? Perfect, it can ping. So, can it ping 50? Yes. And here you can see it's 1.16. And can our Linux, yes, it can ping easily. It's still pinging anyway. So, that's how trunking works. Now, what uh, if we change what if we change um, what if we create another VLAN of VLAN 100 and uh, make this Linux server part of a Linux 2 part of it so to do that switch one conf t VLAN 200 uh, name finance Z. show VLAN brief okay now we you can see we have to VLAN but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this 0 slash 1 conf t uh, interface ethernet 0 slash 1 no switch port access VLAN 100 Okay, and I am going to make it switch port access VLAN 200. No shut. Show VLAN brief. And you can see here we have sales and we have ETH 0 slash 1 of for finance. Now we need to restart this <coughs> switch. Let me first. Okay, let's see if at the moment it can ping and you can see it can uh, okay three can ping but can two ping it cannot ping even if I restart the switch it will not be able to ping because it's part of a different VLAN so perfect we have proved our point uh, if you go to linux one machine 
you can see it is not able to ping 50 but it can ping 40 it should be here so thank you for watching and see you soon in our next video about native vlan and trunking goodbye